This video lesson is a 21st century after school session for Jamestown Public Schools. This lesson can be used with any age child. Hi, my name is Miss Martz and I just want to talk to you today quickly about something called grounding meditation. Now grounding meditation is a meditation used to get yourself back into the present moment. It is something that can help with calmness, relaxation, um, anxiety, anything like that. If you're feeling overwhelmed or if you have a group of students that just needs a, a little bit of a timeout, this uh, meditation is great to use. Um, other things you can use to help get yourself uh, present in the moment, which is exactly what grounding is for. Grounding meditation is used to get yourself back into the present moment and be focused on what is happening right then and there. Um, is playing games like a memory game, using math and numbers can also help with that. It brings the mind back into focus on what you're working on. Um, and also just doing uh, some quiet breathing techniques or this technique here. So grounding meditation is a sensory experience. Uh, it uses your senses and your surroundings uh, to help get you back into the present time. And so for a grounding meditation, the best thing to be doing is sitting uh, straight up with some good posture. You can be sitting in a chair like I am, or you could be sitting on the floor. And what you do is you just simply slowly and calmly move throughout the body from the bottom up, so from your feet up. So for the grounding meditation we will be doing today, we will be starting at our feet and working our way up to the head. You can't see my feet, but they're on the ground and that's where I'll be starting. So when you first start, you take a deep breath in and out, and you think about where your feet are, what they're touching, what do you feel underneath you? Do you feel a carpet? Do you feel a hard floor? Do you feel tile? Are they in shoes or bare? And then from there, you move on to your legs. How are your legs? Are they crisscrossed? Are they, you know, angled because you're in a chair? Can you feel the floor beneath them? Or can you feel a seat beneath them? Is it hard? Is it soft? You can move from your legs when you're ready up to your back, your lower back, and your belly. You can put your hands on your belly and feel your breath go in and out. Take a moment there. Can you feel your clothes? Do they feel tight? Do they feel loose? Does your stomach feel full? Is it a little you know, empty? Are you a little hungry? How is your breathing feeling? Is it feeling deep and slow or fast? And then from there, you can move up to your back and your shoulders. Are they tight? Are they pushed back? Are you slouched a little bit? If so, make sure you push them back. Really open up your chest so you can get some big deep breaths in. Sit there for a moment, try to loosen them up a little, maybe wiggle a little bit. You can move them up and down too. That helps loosen them. And then after that, we can move on to our neck. Does it feel tight? Does it feel normal? Maybe do go from side to side a little bit. Not too fast or hard. You don't want to, you know, be cracking your own neck, but just a little bit. You can put your head up and down. You can kind of roll it if you'd like. And then from there you go to your head. And the head is very important because that's where all of our, our senses really are other than touch and what we feel. All of our other senses are, you know, uh, you know the sight, hearing, uh, smelling, tasting. Other than touch, which we just went through, the rest of our senses are pretty much located here, right? So what can you hear? around you? Do you hear noises? Do you hear silence? Take a moment to think about that. And then from there, if you have your eyes open, if you don't, go ahead and open them. What do you see around you? Look around you. What do you see? Right now, I can see my uh, computer. I can see the stuff in my, in my dining room. 
Uh, I know there's a plant behind me, which is great. Nature is really good for grounding. Uh, it's really nice to do it outside, actually. That's one of the best ways to do it. Um, but, you know, it's a little difficult, especially in a school setting. So, and after sight, you know, what can you smell? Can you, can you smell anything? Sometimes if we're in a school, maybe we can smell the food. Um, you know, if it's a daycare setting, um, if you're outside, you can smell, you know, usually the grass. So what can you smell? And then usually we really can't taste much uh, when we're doing this, but think about something that you really like um, to taste, your favorite food. Think about that for a moment. And then when you're all done doing that, you can go through the process again um, and, and really get a good sense of a body scan, which is what um, sometimes in yoga they call it, is a body scan, how your body's feeling after. Do you feel any different? Do you feel a little less tense? Do you feel more calm? Maybe if uh, the child doesn't feel um, as calm or the student or, or what, whoever you're working with, um, if they don't feel as calm, you can go through it again. Um, or if you're finished, you can have a quick little group session about it and ask how they liked it. Um, how did you feel after? You know, those are questions that we can answer. How did you feel? Did it, did it help you at all? Do you feel more relaxed? Um, did you enjoy it? Or, or was it a little different, a little strange? It's okay if you're not used to it. Um, it's something you have to get used to doing, but it's really good to do. And it helps bring us back into that moment. What is happening right now around us? That is uh, what grounding is for. It's used to help bring you into the present, get your mind off of other things, and just focus on the here and now. Uh, I hope you have fun practicing this grounding meditation. I, I like to do it, uh, especially outside with my feet in the grass. That really helps a lot. Um, and I hope you have a good time. Thank you.